During life, we all get attached to certain people or even things. Some just grow up in us. Our time with them becomes so precious, so desirable. My story starts up as a kid. And the thing I must point out is how easily kids get attached. They are so innocent. They make friend fast. And so was I. And so did I. As I grew older, I became more aware. The innocence was fading along with many of those who I used to call friends. Now I get it. It's the nature of life. People get along, then they just grow strained. But I find it the perfect entry for the story. In my teen years, I made lots of friends, but only one of those matters to the story. The other lasted not long enough to leave an impact. John, who actually was a friend from my childhood. We have known each other for years. We used to do everything together. We were inseparable. He was that friend that encourages me to do things I would never do otherwise. And one day, he managed to convince me to break into the school. We did nothing much. There was no intentions for vandalism and there was no vandalism done either. It was simply one of those situations where teenagers go somewhere empty and dark to scare each other and prove their braveness. Yes, there is a minor detail I forgot to mention which will make the school the reasonable place to do that. It was said that the school was built on some people's graves. The night has passed. Few of us got scared and might have gotten some psychological damage. I honestly don't know for sure, but I can say no one of us had walked away the same after that night. John and I managed to get away with it, or so we thought. Weeks after a word came out that one of us had talked after discovering that someone in fact was hurt and was forced to state where they were. Being an honor student with a clean record and never being in detention, John knew how much this could affect me. After all, he was my closest friend. Nay, he was my only friend. We gathered, John and I, to discuss it all. But John had a different approach. You find a solution for this, or I'll tell them all it was all you, the perfect student. It was all you, he said. Now, you can imagine, or even relate to the feeling. What kind of friend 
throw their friends under the bus when the hard times are had. At that point of time, only one answer was roaming in my head. Fake friends. Being an honor student and known for being a good person came out with its perks. John was not believed. I was. Now, I know I only told the truth. I know it was him who convinced us to do it. But I keep asking myself, was it worth it? The feeling we are to feel now is loss. But not the kind that we laugh or cry when we remember. The kind that makes us wonder. It wasn't that I lost a friend. It wasn't that I lost my trust. It is that I lost myself. And I came to let myself feel this loss. As it is the only way I know, there is still hope to find me again. I lost myself. Have you lost yours? If so, feel it. There is no credit for the story, as they like to remain anonymous. If you have a story and a feeling that you like to share, that you like to help others feel and go through, contact us.